All right, here I am in my car, and I'm gonna try this scene here. Let's get the dark. Okay, I'm just gonna mask these in pretty quickly. Trying to get the shadow in. And how convenient. Look at that pile from last time. It almost matches the color of the wall. Okay, see, now here goes the light. And so I picked this spot specifically because here you have an area of backlight. Um, and that is going to stay somewhat similar even if the sun comes and goes because we were supposed to have like clouds and sun today um, so I'm still gonna get that light back there this is still gonna be comparatively dark so when the sun comes and goes I can stop focusing on the shadows here and I can quick focus on that and then when the sun comes back I can focus on this or at least that's the idea I learned that idea about picking backlight scenes like that from an artist, uh, Amy Peterson. I believe she's in Alabama. Some reflected light from Anchorage. I think the sidewalk over there. Oh, hi. Hi, friends. Hello. <laughs> People just look at me and they're just like, what is that lady doing? She's being creepy. Doing something that no one can see from outside. Not creepy at all. a little too dark. It's a little better. Now we do have people sitting here. Haha. <laughs> I'm suspecting plain air victims. To be painted. Stand there, just hang out. Hey, hey, hey. Hi friends. Oh, there they go. Oh, so sad. Oh. Oh. Maybe somebody else will come. Actually, I like how this part here, oh, I can't see it, like how that looks right now. So I'm going to add that. Don't do it, don't do it, no, no, don't do it. Oh, that's not. Oh, the people. Very good, you stay there. Yes. Oop. Whoa, funky hair. <laughs> there. He's not quite so pronounced though, he's kind of set back. I'm not even sure it'll be apparent. Oh, and he's leaving. Oh, boo.
So the sun is kind of fading again. So I'm gonna work on this window in the backlight. It's a plan. I have a plan. For anyone who knows me or maybe doesn't know this, but I often don't have a plan when I paint. Um, I just go and I see what strikes my fancy and I don't do any little preliminary sketches. I just go for it. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. See what I did there? Shame, shame, shame. This should be the same height. Mm-hmm. Because I moved it. Mm-hmm. Let that be a lesson to everyone. <laughs> Don't change your shadows. Womp womp. Sharp edge. Ooh. Now there's this lovely geranium. It's too far over for real in my composition, but I think I'm going to take artistic license. Because, what does Bob Ross say something about it's your own happy little world. This is my own happy little world. I'm gonna put a happy little flower right there. I don't know about that. Flowers, ew. Okay, anyway, looking good, looking good. Keep moving. I hit it with some very saturated. I'm also going to try moving the sign over to create some overlap, overlapping shapes. Getting some light bouncing up. Can you see that? That can kind of throw things off a little. There's also then some reflected light. There's just there's a lot going on. Time to bust out the liner. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So I've done the shadows, it doesn't make sense, does it? I have to bring some over in order for that to make sense. I think I'm going to put all the colors in this window. 
as I said, there's a lot going on, um, but I, and there's a very bright something, but I don't want that to be like the big honking center of attention. Some over here too. Don't touch it. Don't do it. Look what you did. I heard someone talking about narrative in their painting the other day, and I don't usually think about this. But I do find myself creating a story. <laughs> this is this is me. I'm standing there and I'm waiting for someone. And I'm just like, okay. Where are they? Like, okay. For cement, I like to use an odd mixture of purple and orange. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do this fast, get it in there. Get it in there and go, cause someone, someone is about to turn into a hangry baby. Is that working? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll call it there. No, you know what it needs? It needs... This could either be great or it could be terrible. But it needs these... Oh, it needs these coming down to stop. Because right now there's nothing keeping the eye from just like, poop. I'm not nervous at all. Mwah. Okay, stop. No more. Don't touch. Don't touch. Just touch it a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I would just like to say, um, for all those who commented that maybe they were rethinking car painting, don't let my slovenly ways dissuade you. Um, I brought this today. This is a, I made this like in high school, um, quite handy. And like when I was dropping brushes, throwing brushes around, it's because I didn't have anywhere to put them. So. Like, you just put your brushes here, and it's fine. You won't get paint anywhere. And if you can restrain yourselves from, like, flailing your arms around and getting paint on the ceiling, then it's fine. 